Ultra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a topographic profile or elevation profile in QGIS. So let us add our DEM data first. Layer, add layer, add raster layer. So this is the DEM data which I have downloaded from Earth Explorer USGIS. So this is SRTM DEM. If you don't know how to download it, I have made a video on it. You can just check it out in the description section. I have given the given the link as well as I have given the video in the cards. Now hit the button open and finally add it. So we have added the DEM layer. Now right click and go to the option. Copy layer. Copied it. And in this empty space, paste the layer. So you can see on the top, top layer, select it and go to the option properties. And in symbology, now I'm going to change the symbology. So this is the color scheme which I'm going to use. And apply it. Now go back to the option transparency. Here, let me choose the transparency to 64 percentage and apply it and click OK. Now, you can see we have already uh, had this layer. This is just a copy of that layer. Now here, same thing, I'm going to change the symbology and I'm going to select hill shade, apply, OK. Now, enable the layer on the top. So now you can have a proper visualization of the elevation so that is why I have uh, that is what I have done so let us see how to create a topographic profile so for that we, we you, you need a plugin so go to the option plugins manage and install plugins so please uh, make sure that your internet connection is active and select the option manage and install plugins so in the all select search bar and type in profile so you can see the profile tool so here for me it's showing uninstall so because i have already installed it for uh, you it might be showing install plugin click install and close now in order to bring out that plugin once again click on the plugins and hit the button profile tools and select terrain profile so automatically a tab has been opened as you can see here here in the tab, uh, we will be visualizing the topographic profile. So let us construct the topographic profile. So I am choosing this elevated region. So let me draw a line by using the left click. Now for finishing the line, you just need to double click on the left click button. We have constructed the line. Now hit the button add layer. So now you can see how the elevation profile looks like for this region. So likewise you can create a profile. So let me show you another example. And this is the region where meteoroid has been impact, impacted the terrain. So here I'm going to draw another line. Use the left click to begin. And in order to finish it, use the left click button twice. So we have drawn the line and we have, we have got the topographic profile of this meteoroid impact area. So you can see at the top, the height is around uh, 1,699 feet. And in the bottom, you can see because of this uh, impact, you can see a huge uh, amount of land is being suppressed. So likewise, you can create a topographic profile so here let me show you an example for a river so let me zoom in as much as possible now you see left click so let me remove this layer research view now use the option left click you can also Create the clicks while digitizing. You know how we digitize. Same thing, we are just clicking and drawing a line using the left click. So we have constructed the a line. So hit the button add layer. So you can see here this is the uh, river profile. 
how the river profile looks like you can just check it so likewise you can draw it for a multiple area if you you can also save it uh, let me show you some more information about this uh, thing as well so here in the table you can find the maximum elevation and the minimum elevation so this is the profile if you want you can choose the color accordingly you can change the color likewise you can just change the color and here you can see the option slope so if you have a uh, slope uh, data you can just uh, insert the slope data if you have the slope in percentage you can select slope in percentage the uh, graph will be created accordingly if you have slope in degrees it will be created as much uh, based on the slope uh, degree so i'm going back to the option height and here you can see uh, some more options are available table so here uh, you can see the number of clicks which we have done so that much of points has been taken 28 points are there for each point you can see elevation has been taken down if you want you can just copy to the clipboard or if you want you can uh, you can copy to the clipboard with coordinates it will be in coordinates as well so i have copied it let me paste it in the notepad so you can just see over here how it looks like the lat long has been taken down and with that elevation has been marked if you want it as a temporary layer you can just create it as a temporary layer hit the button create temporary layer you can see here a point layer has been created so inside that attribute you can see the values so in the settings you can select full uh, resolution enabled if you want and you, you we are having two time to, two kind of graphs one is the py pyqt graph and one is matlab so you can select it accordingly and finally if you want to save the uh, image profile image there are few options has been given graph in png graph in svg uh, 3d line 2d profile dfx so here i am going to save it as graph png and hit the button save so you can save it in the de desired location so likewise you can save it so let me open the file manager here let us have a view of the save profile you can see how it looks like so likewise you can create a topographic profile this is the final example let me draw a line you can see how this line looks like so likewise you can create the topographic profile so if you have any doubts please to ask in the comment section thanks for watching and if you are interested in membership please uh, join us thank you very much